My daughter started gymnastics in Delphus a few weeks ago. I wasn't able to attend the first practice, so when we all got home that night, I asked her how it went. And as confident as any five-year-old could be, she said, the boss said I did great. The boss, I said with a laugh. Yes, the boss. I'd never heard a coach referred to as the boss, but that concept made me smile because my daughter recognized the authority of her coach and she seemed to have a sense of awe and respect for her. And when the boss was pleased, Anna felt like she had done something right or even extraordinary. I love what Proverbs 9.10 says about the boss of all of us. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Yes, God's our friend. Yes, He loves us no matter what, but there's something to be said for having a sense of awe and a sense of respect towards the God of the universe that I know is often missing in my life. And maybe I'm missing out on that feeling that when I've done things according to the boss's standards, he's pleased with me. Who's the boss in your life today?